Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Pop Hey, guys. What's up? Hello. Here today with King, a.k.a. Kid Saiyan. Which do you prefer, by the way? I mean, like, King cool, because King's short at the end of the day, but I'm probably going to label my music as Kid Saiyan, or maybe both. What's going on, man? Uh, nothing much. I've just been at the house, um, in the studio, working. You're in Atlanta right now? Yeah. I'm trying to, right now, I'm trying to see if I want to give them an EP or album. That's what's taking so long for the job. I, I saw online, there's, there's a freestyle, right? Yes, I dropped that uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve last year. Nice. So what, what's going to be the main factor for you, whether it's an EP or an album? I'm trying to show them everything because I make a lot of different type of music. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to give them all in one. Let's say I got this tape that I'm working on. I got one with my possibly artist one. I got one with we, that we working on, and I got like a slow tape. And I got a slow tape that I'm working on. Okay. I'm trying to see like what I'm gonna do with it and what I'm gonna add to it and stuff. Any uh, features or producers you're able to talk about? Features, um, well, we got Get Cool. Uh, that's the producer. That's what, He produced a lot of the, like, I wanna say the best songs on there. He produced most of the best songs on there. And um, features, we got Young Dro. We got Dro. Um, we got my dog um, Juan, Kanji Juan. I got my dog Ashton. Um, and I'm not going to say right now because I don't know and we haven't had this conversation, but it was brought up. We might have Thug on the song, but we don't know yet. Do you know like, uh, when, it, when it might be dropping? I want to say my birthday or... If it's an EP, we're going to do June, but if it's an album, probably my birthday. June's pretty um, close. Yeah. Uh, and and what's, what's going on there, man? How are you all dealing with uh, quarantine and whatnot? Quarantine? Quarantine is straight. We've just been distant, social distancing, and with the family, working on ourselves, you know. The, the filming must be uh, wrapped up yeah. for season three? We're not filming it, not right now, but um, I don't know when we're about to start filming again. Would that be for season four or? I don't know. I don't really keep up with it. I don't <laughs> really keep up with it, to be honest. Because like when age. I started doing music, I really tried to lock in on music. Yeah. And like with, with the TV, I do it. But it's like when they tell me, all right, cool, we got this. I'm like, all right, cool, back. We there. But on my own time, I kind of focus on my music. Yeah. I read online that you seem to like performing and whatnot. I honestly love performing, man, because like, I'm very, like, hyper and, like, I jump in the crowd a lot. So people don't really know why I jump in the crowd, but they're going to say it's it's, uh, XXX because that's, like, one of my favorite rappers, like, my favorite rapper and Michael Jackson. Those are my two favorite artists. But honestly, when I was little, I used to watch a lot of WWE. And, you know, Jeff Hardy, he used to jump off of anything. So really, I just got that kind of mentality from watching Jeff Hardy. That's yeah. fun. And that's cool. It's an energetic performance. You think you'll be maybe following up the EP or album with a tour? I know I hit my people up about that, trying to see trying to see what's going on. But this corona, this corona, um, like making people like, all right, we're going to check in. We're going to let y'all know. We're going to try to. So we ain't got nothing finalized or nothing like that yet. Yeah. But I do got a show. I, I think I got a show September 30th. Ohio. Tell me about the show, man. What, what's going on with that? I know that you're more plugged into the music, um, but but what can fans of the show expect? I really don't know, because I really haven't been watching the show. I'm gonna <laughs> I haven't been keeping up on the episodes. I have. But I don't know if they dropped everything with me and performing and all that stuff. I don't know yet. I was going to ask you what kind of stuff might be in, like, behind the scenes rather than what ends oh. up on the show. But behind apparently, the scenes, I'm not I sure mean, if you know. Behind the scenes, sometimes behind the scenes really be funny. It be like real, real funny. But I guess they like to like make it not too, not too, too funny so we can stay on topic. Because yeah. sometimes, like sometimes we be like just going, we just keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, and it just don't end. So they just be like, yo, y'all got to stop. Y'all got to stop. We got to we gotta end this. So then we just come to a conclusion. And I mean, backstage, like, backstage, it ain't nothing. It's just us around the house. 
I might yeah. be upstairs playing the game with Major before we start filming or whatnot. It's just roll like that. Well, the, the whole family seems to, you know, have different pursuits, you know, yeah. within entertainment, you know, modeling, acting, everything. Um, I guess it's got to be pretty cool to have, like, a supportive family environment for the arts. Yeah, yeah, it's very cool because, like, say if I'm in the studio with the money and we, we if somebody say something funny, we're going to laugh. We gonna, I mean, it's cool because everybody art, like, the money got his own art for me. Me and the money do not rap alike. We have notes. But at the end of the day, it still come from one place. Yeah. So it, it got the similarities. So when we in there, you might hear something that be like, yo, that's raw. Or nah, that's funny. Or don't put that in there. Because you, you got different people looking that's in the circle that you in. So you can be like, okay, it's good advice. It's good advice around you. That's great to have that feedback loop. Sometimes yeah. you'll be making something and you're like, is this garbage or genius? I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, but I done made some stuff where I'm like, all right, okay, cool. And then I'm recording. I'm recording. And I'm just like, bro, why am I making this? Why did I, why did I record this? Like, you feel really video, passionate. Like, why I... You feel really passionate, like, one day about a beat. And then, like, a couple of days later, you're like, Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> now, I, done have, I have some songs that I didn't like when I recorded and heard it the next day. I'm like, wait. Maybe I can do something with this, and then I, you know, work my magic. That's that's awesome, and a lot of times too, as somebody that like I also do production and music stuff. Sometimes you'll you'll make something and not even realize that it's got so much potential. As an artist, that's what I can say. Sometimes your best songs you might not like. We tend to be like drip, our worst. Somebody critics. said drip. I don't like drip. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like drip. Yeah, I wrote it. I did. I write all my music. I either write my music or freestyle my music. That's the only way I go about my music. No yeah. ghostwriters. No ghostwriters. <laughs> would, ghost write, would you ghostwrite for others? I'll definitely write for another person. I mean, but I got to catch a vibe. I'm not just going to write for somebody because I don't want it just to sound like me. I'm going to have to be in the studio, see what they see, yeah. look at the art that they draw or what they want to draw and help them draw it. Like, I would be better, I would, instead of like writing, cause I'm all about like, if you don't write your music, if you don't write your music, not saying that the artists that don't write their music, I'm just saying, if you don't write your music, you not creating the picture. Yeah. You not creating the picture. It's different if you got somebody writing with you. If you got somebody writing with you, y'all both, two minds is better than one. Yeah. So that's what I do over and just writing a song for somebody, because I want their inputs too. I don't just want to make the whole song about me. I want what they want. It's almost like a therapy session, like talking about what you what you're going through, what you want to do. Like when I say I got different kinds of music, cause it's it's because I got different kind of emotions. I got different kind of emotions on different days. That's what makes music music. It's it's the emotion to the music, regardless of if you saying something inspirational, of you saying something with a big meaning, whatever whatever inspires you in the moment, and you feel like this is creative, or you can create something that is great out of that that work of art and you should do it regardless of if you have a topic to talk about sometimes i just make music just a bump to like some like you can hear what i'm saying i don't be mumbling but it just don't it just don't have no main topic like you might hear me talking about jury then cars then uh uh girls in the swimming pool like you might just hear me talk about some like everywhere but it's all a vibe all the deep meaning songs, I don't gotta write because I feel that. Like if I write about something that's like really pain, I feel that. I don't have to write it. Cause when I get on it, I'ma lock in, just keep going. Like the songs I wrote by my uncle, I ain't even write them. I freestyled them. Like let's say I had a song called Suicide. It was a feature with this with this dude I did in um in Miami. And they sent me the song and it and it was talking about like um to it and stuff like that. So I I basically made the song about like me feeling empty, me feeling numb sometimes. And I talked about me. If you if you got like suicidal problems, you can hit me. I ain't, I ain't better than nobody. I'm gonna, I'm gonna respond if you need me. Like, cause that stuff is like real, like it's real. So I don't yeah. gotta sit there and write and think and, cause it come in my head. And it's cool that you're able to, you know, Freestyle stuff out. Are you are you competitive with your uh, with your siblings? Not really, not really, because everybody, because 
This is how I look at it. Everybody going to be the best at what they do and how they do it. And the thing with that is we don't do nothing the same. We all different. Yeah. We all different. So we not competing with each other. We not competing with each other. We was made to go to the top and win with each other. You feel what I'm saying? So it ain't Absolutely. no competition. The name Kid saying, I'm guessing Dragon Ball reference, right? Yes. Okay. Dragon Ball That's Z. Awesome. But Dragon Ball Z. But the thing is about like. If you're really a fan of Dragon Ball Z, you're going to know the definition of a saying because they tell you. Like, they tell you because every time every time a saying gets into a, a battle that they can't win, they unlock a, they unlock a new form and they win. They beat it. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So when I say kid saying, that's, that's me saying that I'm going to get past any obstacle no matter what. I, like, like, if I got to lose, get back up, lose again, I'm going to get past the obstacle. So that's where the name came from, kid saying, and I love anime. So. I grew up on that and uh, I really love it. So I appreciated the name when I when I uh, when I first heard it. You know when you, when you came up with it. Um, Thank you. Top three favorite anime. I'm gonna just name you three. I like yeah. Dragon Ball Z, Fairy Tail, Akami Got Killed. That's just three of them. If Corona ain't happened, I probably wouldn't have watched Akami Got Killed. But that like that anime was like a dick thing. Like I could watch the anime over again. There's a lot of stuff that I've watched recently, <laughs> just because not a whole else, lot, to, lot to do. Like, if I didn't have a studio in the basement, I'd be towed up. Uh, Self-isolating by having a studio in the basement it could be worse. That's, that's a clutch moment. <laughs> Besides anime, what do you think are like your biggest influences musically? Before anything, come family, and I'm going to go ahead and say shout out to my dogs, members only. If they drop, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm I'm sponsoring it. I'm I mean, I'm promoting it. I'm doing whatever. So that's one. And um let's say Uzi. I, I listen to what he dropped. Um Maddox, that's my dog. I'm gonna listen to what he dropped. Um The Baby. I listen to what he dropped. If I hear it, like I like the um I like the um song he got with Young Boy. I'm gonna listen to what Young Boy dropped. This is one. He's on the um, album, EP, whatever we do. Yo, hey. Possible artist if he want to sign a wild piece to dig. Great. Um, yeah, that's another thing. I got a group um, that I'm trying to get together with uh, our name, Wild Beast. And um, basically, everybody going to have their own animal. Like, I'm the lion, Ashton, he the wolf, he, you jaguar. So we're going to have, and then the chain is going to be so hard. We're going to have, like, half of our face and then half the animal. It's gonna be raw, so yeah, we just gotta keep that. We just gotta get that rotation. That's sick. I won't keep you uh, all day or nothing, but thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, and uh, and oh, I gotta make sure to uh, let everybody know. Uh, uh, Friends and Family Hustle is now gonna be on Monday nights at eight p.m. Eastern. Yeah. Um, so yeah. You might not be watching it, but <laughs> but a lot of people are apparently. Um, See so yeah, it, man. Uh, yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for being on, and uh, hopefully talk again soon.